Hello and welcome back everyone to Tutor LMS Academy. Today we have a new tutorial for you and in this video we're going to go over how you can import and export Tutor LMS courses, bundles, lessons, quizzes and settings using the built-in export import feature. So this is super handy if you're migrating to a new site, creating backups or just reusing your content across multiple Tutor LMS powered sites. This was a very highly requested feature from Tutor LMS users, so let's dive right into it. So where do we start with the import export? So first of all, you need to go to Tutor LMS, go over to the tools tab. Once you go into the tools tab, you'll find an import and export tab. And what can you do with this tool? Well, to find that out, let's first export some of our data and then we'll import it back into another site. So to export this, you'll see two sections here. One is for import, so you can select a JSON file if you have one to import all your settings and courses, or you can click on the initiate export to export your data. So what is the kind of data that you can actually export through this tool? So you can select your courses, which will then select the adjacent lessons, assignment, or any of the quizzes that you have within those courses. If you have any course bundles, you can also select those. Additionally, you can also select specific courses and bundles if you don't want all your courses to come through. So if we select, let's say just these three courses and add it, now it says that we only have three courses and the lessons, assignments, and quizzes that come with it. If you select keep media files, this will also keep all the media files that you have within the courses. So your course thumbnails and lesson thumbnails and everything else. You can also take all the Tutor LMS settings that you have on this site. So once you import this data onto whichever site, that site will now have the settings of this site that you're exporting from. So if you wanna keep a backup of your site, this is a great way to do it. So you, in that case, you would wanna select all the courses and of course you want to select your settings. So once everything is checked out, let's click on export on the top and this will show us that our data is being exported and our data is now ready to download. So we need to download this JSON file so that we can import it back into Tutor LMS. Now, let's see how we can import this. Additionally, another very neat thing about this import export tool is now there's a history section. So this shows us how many times data has been exported from the site and what that data consists of. So we only exported the courses, three courses and the settings data. So that's what it's showing us. If you have more data, it will show every detail and when that export was created. And if you click on delete, this will delete this export from the history. So now that we've exported our data, let's try to import it into another site. So let's try to import our data. So once again, this is another Tutor LMS powered site. Go to the same tab, tools, into import and export. Now, instead of initiating an export, we actually want to import a file. So the file that we just downloaded, remember that it was a .json file. So we opened our file and it gives us a warning that this will override all our existing settings. And we actually want that. So let's go ahead and click on import. One real quick thing before we import it. So you'll see on this side, we actually have no courses created at this moment. So we're hoping that the import will bring us all our new courses. So go back into the tab select our JSON file and then hit import. Now this will show that the import is completed. If you click on OK, another history pop-up that says that data was imported this time, not exported. So if we initiate another export, this will appear below this, right? So now that we've imported, let's see if our data actually came through. So let's go to courses and there you go. So you'll notice something else though, because during the export, we did not click on keep the media. These courses actually lost their thumbnails. They don't have the thumbnails or they won't have any of the material inside either. So let's try and do the same process, but this time we'll take the media as well. So let's get rid of these courses again. We come back to our original site. So we'll initiate another export. This time let's take all our courses, all the media, all the settings. So go ahead, export. This might take a bit longer because you're taking in a lot of data. 
So we've downloaded the data. Now let's go back to our site. So we'll import another file and this time the import will take a bit longer. So it says the import is completed. Now, once again, it's come up on the history. Let's check our courses this time. So you'll see, there you go. We have all our courses along with all the course thumbnails as well. So if we go into any of the courses, you'll see all your stuff is right here. All the data, the pictures, everything. A quick tip before you start to import your courses is if your course uses any advanced features like content drip, course prerequisites, or if it has Zoom meetings, you need to make sure that the corresponding add-ons are activated in the site that you're trying to import to. Because if the add-ons are not activated, those specific features or things under those specific features are not going to come through into the site. So that might cause some issues. So just make sure that you have all the add-ons enabled before you perform the import. And well, that's it, everyone. That's how easy it is now to import and export your Tutor LMS content. So whether you're backing up, migrating, or just reusing your content across sites, this feature is gonna make your life that much easier. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like this video. And if you have any problems, be sure to let us know in the comments. And as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next one, everyone.